Thank you for purchasing one of my art kits. This is for the Fun Shark Pirate Art Kit. So we're going to get started right away. So you have your outline. And you have your paint strips and your paint brushes. You will need a cup of water, about half full. And I grabbed a sharp, Sharpie or permanent marker. And I'm just going to jump right in. And I'm just going to kind of go over some of my waves. Just so I know where they're going to be. Don't have to be all of them. But just a few. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a darker pencil. Just something to bring out these lines a little bit. Do a few of the little bubbles coming up. Just like that. I didn't go over the shark yet. I might choose to do that later. I'm just focusing on the background. When you go to open these, you might need some help. These are kind of a little tricky, but you use your little pinchers, and I'm just going to pop it open with my thumb. But it can get a little messy. So definitely feel free to ask for help. Okay, so I'm going to start with my medium brush. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's like I lost it for a second. <clears throat> so just my medium brush. You can dip it into some water if you'd like to just kind of make the paint a little bit more smooth. But I'm just going to paint right over all of those waves. And I'm going to go around my shark. Around his little eye patch. And I'm going to go right up to that pencil line. I don't want any weird white spots. <clears throat> you can see I'm going right over that Sharpie and my waves are coming through a little bit. And that's exactly what I want. And I'm going to go right up to those pencil lines all the way around my shark. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will meet you back here in just a moment. Forget the day we met, your eyes so blue, me pressing through. I can't forget the day we met, your smile so bright, it made me swoon. I love is like a summer's day, hot sun. Okay. How'd you do? Did you go all the way around the shark? Did you get the sides of your paintings? I'm getting paint on my fingers. Oh, I did forget this side. So I'm going to go ahead and get this side. So I have all four sides done. If you accidentally oops and went over the lines, that's okay. We can fix that later. We're going to let it dry and we'll come back and we'll fix that. So no worries if you went over the lines a little bit. And hopefully you can see your pencil lines a little bit. I'm going to let it dry and we'll come back to it. So I'm going to rinse out my brush. And I'm going to open the gray. <clears throat> and this one you can use either the small or the medium. I'm going to use the small brush. And I am going to go ahead and trace his little nose and maybe his little eyes. Okay. 
just so I know where some of those lines are. So I think that's pretty good. So I kind of goofed there. I'll fix that. That line shouldn't be there, but I just traced those little lines because I'm going to paint everything gray except for his mouth and his eyes. So got the gray. I'm going to start here with his little fin. And go right up to the line, that blue line. This is where you can cover up any blue that you may have gone out of the lines. And you go nice and slow when I get close to the lines and then you can go a little bit faster when you get inside of his fin. Okay, I didn't outline his mouth, but I'm going to go nice and slow all the way around his mouth. Then I'm going to fill in his little chin. His little cheek. Again, I'm going to go over those little lines. They're going to come back when the paint dries. So you don't want your paint to be too thick or too heavy. Just a nice little thin coat of paint. I'm going to go around his eye. And underneath his little nose and above his mouth. So this is what I have so far. See how I'm just kind of tracing the eye and the mouth first? And then I'm going all around them. I can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright how'd we do here we go we have them all blacked out in gray so next let's go ahead and fill in the space between his teeth black So I'm going to go ahead and open up the black using my small brush and very slowly and very carefully I'm just going to fill in that zigzag line. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to take my time. If you go out of the lines a little bit, that's okay. We're going to go back and color the teeth white with in just a minute. All the way to the other side. And while I have my black out, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do my patch. And I went over my little design. It's okay. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to make that little design. That little skull and bones. I'm just going to do all black. I find it's easier to do it all black and going back over it with the white. So I'm not fighting with that shape. I'm not going to worry about the little strap at the moment. 
just a solid black. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Now, while I still have my black on my brush, I am going to scoop a little bit of it out. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it. I'm gonna scoop a little bit of black. I'm sorry, gray. I'm gonna put it on my plate over here. And I'm just gonna mix a little bit of black in with the gray. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a lighter, I'm sorry, a darker gray. But that black is super overpowering, so I wanna be very careful. I'm just adding a little bit of black at a time. Okay, so I want a darker gray. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add a little shadow on his back tail and I'm going to also add another shadow on his back fin. Okay, it's very subtle, but this will make his head pop up like it's coming towards you. So I'm just adding a little bit of shadow here and a little bit of shadow here. I'm gonna go back in and add this one just a little bit darker. Just bl blending that in a little bit. Then I'm gonna do the same thing underneath of his little chin, his little cheeks on his fin. Again, this is just gonna make his little chin pop out a little bit more so he doesn't look so flat. I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of gray so I can blend that in a little bit. Blending that out a little bit so there's not a weird line. Maybe a little bit more gray right here. Okay. And blending this a little bit more too. I'm trying to keep the tips of his fins the light gray. But as it's getting closer to underneath of his chin, it's going to be the dark gray. So my dark gray kind of got a little bit too close to the edge of his fin. So I'm just kind of lighting that back up a little bit. There we go. What do you think? So I got a shadow, 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 shadow. Okay, I'm rinsing my brush. Now we're gonna go in and add in some details I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. I'm gonna go in and add some details to our waves. So I'm gonna use white. If you haven't opened that up yet, go ahead and open up your white. Okay. If you don't want pure white, you can use the light blue and mix it with your white. Here I just use plain white, which is fine. So I'm just gonna take the top of my wave. I can kind of see it a little bit. And I'm just gonna make these fun little designs. Okay, I can see another one right here. It's subtle, I can barely see it, but I can still see them. You don't have to do the whole line. I'm just doing just the top of my waves. I'm gonna do like this little line right here. You can do as much or as little of these little lines as you'd like. And then I'm gonna 
have some right up here. So right now I'm just mapping out like these waves, where I want them to be. Kind of redefining them. And maybe this one goes just... Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to switch over to my larger brush. And I'm going to mix the white with some of the light blue. And I'm just going to go right into that wave. I'm just filling it in a little bit. If it's too light, you can go just the straight light blue. Just like that. Sorry, I'm holding the paper, the painting the wrong way. Under his chin is a little tricky with the larger brush, or you can go back to the smaller brush if you like. So some of my white is blending in a little bit too much, so I might have to go in and add in a little bit more white here in just a second. I'm going to rinse out my brush. Then I'm just going to have just a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm just kind of going back and forth a little bit. I don't really have any paint on my brush. I'm just kind of bringing that light blue down a little bit into the darker blue. You can kind of see, I'm just kind of bringing that light blue a little bit down. Just kind of help with those harsh lines a little bit. Just like that. All right. Now I'm gonna go back in, because I lost a lot of my white lines. I'm just going to go back in and just add a few of those white lines back in. Kind of define those. See the difference? I'm just adding in a few more of those white lines here. I kind of lost them. Again, I'm just adding a few here and there. I was trying very hard not to go over my shark. I did see that I went over his fin a little bit, so I might go back in and add a little bit of gray there. There we go. 
And this is where I can go back in. There's, I see like a few little circles that I left. I'm just gonna add those in white. can add them wherever you want. You can fill them in a little bit in with the blue if you'd like. But I just kind of kind of leave them. Just a few little circles. Kind of don't like how these are all in a line. So I'm going to add a couple more over here. Maybe one over here. So it doesn't look like they're all in a line. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the white have a clean brush. I have no blue on there and I went into the white. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to very carefully and slowly cover in the white teeth. You don't have to do this. His teeth are white on the canvas. But I'm just doing this to cover up any of the white uh, any of the pencil lines that I forgot, any of the triangles that I need to redefine. You can do that with the white. Make sure your black is dry though, otherwise you're going to be bringing the black into the, his teeth. Yep, see, I kind of already did that. Ah! I'm just going to rinse off my brush. I just have water on my brush. Okay. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. So it looks like that was probably the only spot that was not dry in the black. So down here it looks safe. I just showed you what not to do. Try to make those those teeth nice and nice and sharp by making them pointy. Pointy teeth. So this is still not dry. I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. I am going to go up here and do the white of his eye, which is the outside of his eye. Okay. And now while I have the white out, I'm going to go ahead and do... See how it got a little gray right here? I'm gonna wait and let it dry. I'm gonna do the little skull and bones, okay? My patch is still a little wet. Okay. So my, I might have to do two coats because he's still a little wet. You can see how it's shiny? Means it's a little wet yet. But I'm just gonna do like a little circle Right there at the bottom, bottom half of the square. Then I'm going to attach that to like a larger oval. Okay. Again, this would work a little bit better if it was drier, but I'm a little impatient. So, okay. Now for the little skull, for the little bones behind him, I'm going to go 
and I'm going to just draw out a line this way. And he's going to come straight through to the top corner. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other side. Start at the bottom. I'm going to go straight up to the top. Just like that. Now with a little bit more paint, I'm going to draw a little circle at each corner. There we go. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll go back in and add in the little eyes and nose. But while we're waiting for that, we can add some green into his eyes. So the green, I'm just going to fill in the whole rest of his eye. I've got a little bit too much water on my brush, so I needed to wipe some of that off. This makes him look so cute. Okay. How's he looking? Now it's time to add in some of that, those details in his face. You can do this with a Sharpie permanent, permanent marker, or you can do this with your small brush. Okay. With your small brush, you can take some of the black. I'm just thinning it out just a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're just going to very slowly, very carefully, do a nice black line all the way around your Sharpie. Okay. If you want to use a Sharpie, same thing. The only thing with the Sharpie is you have to make sure that everywhere you put the Sharpie is dry. So I can see up here is still a little wet. Right down here is still a little wet. But I can certainly do his nose and these little cute lines here for his mouth. I can go up around here. This is dry. If you go over wet paint with a permanent marker, it will ruin the marker. Usually. Oh, I think I hit a wet spot. trying to get all the paint off my marker. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot the eyes. I just painted the eyes, so I'm going to wait on that a little bit. Yep, that's still wet. You can kind of see I kind of missed a spot there. I made the tail a little bit too wide, so I'm just going to paint that gray. And here I wanted to match this cheek that was kind of going out here, so I brought this out a little bit more. And so I'm going to go back in and paint that gray as well. Those are just some cute little fun details that you can add in if you'd like.
You can make it your own for sure. Kind of go for here. We're getting almost done. While we're waiting, this green should be dark enough, or I'm sorry, dry enough, where I can add just a itty bitty little black spot in his eye. I'm going to add just a little bit, oops, not too much water, white in his eye. Added the little white dot. white spot on his teeth are finally ready. It's finally dry. Yeah, so now I can go back over that and make that white instead of gray. The last little thing I'm going to trace around his mouth. And you can certainly do this with a with a paintbrush. It's easier. Ooh, and I forgot his eyes. I always forget his little eyes. Last little thing to add in the little dots, two eyes and a nose for the skull. What do you think? And there's some little glitter. You can add some little glitter if you'd like to the waves. There he is. He's all finished. Thank you for painting with me. I hope you had a great time.